Welcome to our tutorial about the weldment cut list. The presence of a weldment feature here indicates that we're dealing with a weldment part. With its particular characteristics such as each structural member is a separate entity unmerged with the others. And I've got quite a few structural members in my cut list. For that reason it's pretty handy to have a weldment cut list table. Now creating a weldment cut list table is pretty similar to creating the bill of materials for an assembly. First, we need to create a cut list item. I'm going to right click on our cut list and select update. Now our 12 structural members have been combined into four cut list items. Now let's create a drawing document. Make drawing from part assembly. OK. B landscape. OK. And from our view palette, let's drag in the isometric view. OK. Let's right click. Select properties. And let's change our scale from 1 to 10 to 1 to 4. OK. Next, let's go to the insert command on the main menu. Select tables. Weldment cut list. At this point, I select my view. Attach it to the anchor point and click OK. Next we need to change the anchor position. Right click on the weldment cut list, select set anchor and we're going to set it at this corner here. Let's change the stationary corner. Click OK. We've got four columns in our table. Item number, quantity, length and description. Let's add a couple more columns for first and second angles. Right click, insert column right. Again right click, insert column right. Now I'm going to select this column. Select a custom property, first angle. And angle 2 here. And let's click OK. Next, in our cut list, we've got four different items. Items 3 and 4 are identical. We've obviously got a problem here. One structural member is 3.6 millimeters longer. Let's go to our part document to see what's going on. Here our problem is the structural member. The most likely reason is a problem with the sketch. Let's right click and edit the sketch. Let's make sketches 1 and 2 visible. Here's our problem. Let's grab and merge these points together. And exit the sketch. Now we'll zoom to fit. This symbol here indicates that the cut list needs to be updated. Let's right click and choose update. Now the cut list item 3 contains all four identical structural members. Let's go back to our drawing document. We've got three items in our table now instead of four. Let's go and assign a material to our part. I'm going to assign it at the part level. Let's right click, select properties, property name, material. Let's enter a value of steel and click OK. Now let's assign a different material to cut list item 3. As you see, steel is already propagated here. I'm going to use AISI 1020 here. By the way, AISI is an acronym that stands for American Iron Steel Institute. And the number 1020, let's click OK here, basically indicates that it's carbon steel. Let's go back to our drawing document. I want to insert a column to the right of the quantity column. Right click, insert, column right. Now let's select the column. And choose cut list item property from the column properties. We'll select material. And here you see our AISI 1020 populates item 3. And let's go back to our part. You can combine items in a cut list manually. Just select the cut list. Oops, let's delete that. 
Now let's shift select the structural members 5 and 6. Okay, right click, uncheck automatic. Now right click and select create cut list item. Now let's shift select 6 and 7. Oops, I can't quite get them. Okay, there we go. With 6 and 7 selected, we right-click and create cut list item. And lastly, number 8, right-click, create cut list item. The symbol on the cut list indicates that it is current and doesn't need to be updated. Let's go back to our drawing document. As you see, we have five items here now. Let's go back to our part. We're going to shift select. Press Delete. Now right click and choose Automatic. Once again, the structural members combine into the cut list items. Let's go back to our drawing document to see how this is reflected in our table. Of course, the table reflects our changes as well. And this concludes our tutorial about the Weldment Cut List.